up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you have not yet be sure to subscribe you can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time i upload a new video you guys in this video we are finally doing another tummy tuck update now before i start off any other videos i do want to correct myself because i don't know where i went wrong when counting the weeks but for some reason uh the other video that i did the little haul I said that I was going to be seven weeks post-op and I was going to be six weeks. So today I actually turned seven weeks post-op and I'm like, I, I went back to it on my calculations and I was like, okay, week one, week two, week three. And yes, today confirmed seven weeks. I checked like three times. I wanted to show you guys what I'm looking like so far. A lot of you guys saw on my Instagram, like I'm always showing my belly, todo eso. Me preguntaron for, to show my scar, but I didn't want to show like too much on Instagram. So I was like, you know what? YouTube here is where it's at where I put all the cheese made so that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video giving you guys a whole rundown of how I'm feeling how I'm looking like everything now if you guys are brand new to my channel my name is Alma Rivera I currently did a tummy tug with Dr. Tunisia and I've been showing you guys my journey so if you guys haven't watched any of my previous videos go ahead and do that I'll link them up right here so you guys can check them out it was from surgery day post-op I did a little haul like I've been letting you guys in on all the cheese mess so catch up on that and then come back to this video but if you guys have been up to date and you guys know what's up I will continue on with this video <laughs> let's go Suavemente. Dude, I'm low-key like rushing because my daughter finally wants to sleep and then I have literally one hour to record before Erin gets out of school so I'm like in chinga trying to get this video in. But let's start off with what did I leave off last time? So, oh, last time when I did my, uh, it was five week post-op, I was on the phone, I couldn't go in person, I didn't have anyone to take me unfortunately. I sent in all my pictures to the nurse and they kind of gave me a rundown of what can I do and what can I not do. So as far as she said that I was looking good, so far my scar was healing nicely. My belly button looked good. The only thing is that in the middle it does look a little bit swollen so you can see a little bit of my belly button. Kind of like it looks like an Audi if you look at it like up close in camera. It probably won't catch it but she just told me that that is just swelling so I'll, I'll show you guys that later. But um, as far as my dues, she told me that I can now go on to another faja. So remember that I was wearing the surgical faja at first, the one that they provided me, which was the white one. I moved on to a stage two faja, which is a whole body garment. But most of the day I'm wearing that. And she did tell me that if I do feel a little bit uncomfortable, like at nighttime wearing it, that I can definitely wear my surgical faja, the binder, to go to sleep. And that's what I've been doing because I don't, I don't feel that comfortable going to sleep in that stage two faja because it does like compress me all throughout it's a really good faja so that one for sure during the day and now i know you guys see me on instagram i'm always showing you guys like little sneak peeks of what my belly is looking like my outfits of the day todo eso and i do not have my faja on now i want to like mention this right now because I don't want to give the impression that I don't wear my faja you guys I wear my faja at all times I'm actually wearing it right now I'm wearing the binder so when I do these pictures and when I do my content I take it off literally for like five ten minutes and I put it right back on when I'm doing my outfit pictures I literally wherever I drive or wherever I'm going I'm wearing my surgical um, faja and I have it on and then just the little minutes that I'm gonna take a picture I quickly remove it take my pictures and then I put it back on so that's like the little drill with that I wanted to clear it up because I don't want to give you guys the impression that it is okay to not wear your binder at this stage it is still early I am still extremely swollen all throughout my stomach my abdomen area um, where they lipoed a little bit on my love handles I feel like I'm still a bit swollen right there tambien and then down in my mom's pubic area, tambien todavía very swollen. But so far, I am loving my results. Everything is looking so good. And, um, oh, they told me that I can now start wearing... Let me show you guys what I got. So this is called the Moderma Intensive Overnight 
scar cream. They told me I could wear scar cream over my um, scar boys that they made. So I put this every single night. I didn't get a day cream because I feel like no quiero fastidiar during the day and I'm gonna forget because I'm doing a billion things at the same time. So I got a nighttime cream. So every single night after I shower, I put this throughout my scar. Uh, let me show you guys what the tube looks like just in case you guys are curious. Here she is, it's actually not a big bottle. I, I saw it in the picture and I thought it was gonna be bigger, but no, this is what it looks like. And this one does cost $25. I got it at CVS and it works very well. I've been wearing it every single night. So on the box it does say that you can wear for six to eight weeks on new scars. And that's what I've been doing. I am now on week two of wearing this uh, overnight scar cream. And for my belly button, she did tell me that I can go ahead and put Neosporin. So I've been using this for my belly button. I get a, a ear swab and I put it right there just a little bit. And I do these steps in the nighttime. So when I wake up, I don't have to worry about it. I leave like it completely dries off so I just leave it at that and then I go on about my day. So there are a few changes that I have noticed. So number one. I have gotten a boost of energy like I can get stuff done I want to move around I think it was at week five that's when like I don't know where I was like girl like let's do this like I'm doing chinga left and right cleaning cooking taking care of my kids y todo eso. and um, unfortunately my nurse had told me she warned me that I was gonna you know get like that and she told me even though you get that energy don't do it yeah and I did it and I've been paying for it because I don't know where I started swelling up all throughout my body like the main show even my hands like throughout the day I noticed like my my fingers were looking a little bit like swollen and I'm like oh my god one day me asusté because like it like I was literally up at six in the morning and I didn't stop moving until like 9 p.m and I lay down and I put my feet up a little bit and my feet were extremely extremely swollen and they started like tingling and oh my god girl like I would I am not used to having swollen feet like that so it kind of scared me I'm not gonna lie I was just like girl like what is this Pero se me on. and I told my nurse and she's like yeah girl it's because you're doing too much you gotta take it easy and I did notice by the next day like I called out that day I said I'm, I'm clocked out I'm not doing anything today my house was already clean and everything so I sat around all day, I lounged, and my swelling went away. It cooled down, ya no me regresó, I've been taking it easy ever since then. So when your nurse tells you, take it easy, girl, listen. Another thing that I wanna point out is that I've been able to have, like, have more movement on my abdomen. So like my tightness on my stomach for my muscle repair, I don't feel it as tight anymore. I feel like I, I have more movement, more sensation. I'm able to wiggle around more, but not to the point that ando, you know, moviéndome and dancing and all that stuff. So um, just know that around week five or six, you will, not have that strange tightness numbness feeling as much as you did in the beginning so it does slowly like go away uh, i did go to a party we did a party for my suegra and let me tell you girl i wanted to dance my ass off so bad y no pude i had to control myself i was just like because we had like a, a little conjunto and dude las ganas tenia para bailar i was just like girl like why me why right now and i wish i could have danced but i couldn't i mean even if i wanted to i still couldn't because my body just doesn't let me like it feels weird like it feels like it's restraining you you can only move so much side to side and that's it like you're tapped out no puedes mover más. another thing that i want to talk about is my nurse actually mentioned about exercising so i've seen people talk about that their doctors let them at six weeks or at eight weeks or at three months but my nurse told me that i could not do any kind of exercise until six months. Now that sounds like a very long time. I mean, girl, it's not like I exercise anyway, but still, you know, just for the fact that I have to wait a whole six months, like let's just say I wanted to tone up my body, which I do. I want, there's certain areas like my, my legs and my arms that I really do want to tone up, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna wait until they tell me and they give me the okay so I don't hurt myself. Oh, and I did ask about alcohol because I have not drank this whole time until now. I asked her if it was okay to have some alcohol. She did say yes. So I treated myself to a nice glass of Stella Rose. Oh, it was so, so good. Pero con una ya, ya me empedé. <laughs> 
one I had not drank in eight weeks so I was like girl I think one glass will do it and girl it put me right out I drank it I was happy you know I felt relaxed and then I just completely knocked out porque así me agarró la peda another thing that I noticed about my stomach is that I'm now able to suck it in or stick it out so I did not have that movement for such a like long time I think it was like four weeks my stomach was just flat pulled back and I had no movement and out of nowhere now I'm able to like suck it in and flex it or if I want to stick it out or if I just want to relax it now I can I have completely control over it although it is still numb like from my belly button down like to my my right where my pubic area starts so it's just like a little gap like this that I have no feeling of it's just completely numb even when I run my fingers through it I can't feel anything okay, I think that's about it I think I covered the majority of the changes that I've been like going through now I'm gonna show you guys my stomach y para, para que miren, eh? para que miren. I had to zoom you guys all the way out so you guys can get like the full body picture but this is what my stomach is looking like so far you guys can see the swelling right here I don't know if you guys can see these lines but I'm thinking those are my muscles. Like, I, Loki have a little six pack going on right now. Or at least just these little lines. But on the camera, I can kind of see it. And in person, you can see it even more. So here's what I'm looking like from the side. I'm like, over here trying to look at myself in the camera. Still pretty damn flat, even though like it does look swollen. Supposedly the nurse said that it'll start going down eventually, but I'm like, how much more can it go down? Like I feel completely flat right here. Although I feel like a little, little bump right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I feel like a little bump right there. Oh, that's my belly button. <laughs> I'm not used to it. It just I'm telling you, I have no feeling right here. I could just feel with my fingers. I don't know if you guys can see my belly button, but like right here, it looks like. You know, it's kind of like, I don't know, trying to protrude out. But I've been wearing my little plug. Remember I showed you guys in my other haul that I got a little plug for my belly button and I've been inserting it. I had it on all morning. So if you guys see like a ring around my belly button, that's exactly what it is. But it's looking really good. I'm loving how my belly button is looking like in the beginning. I was a little nervous because my belly button, it looked like super, super tiny. And I guess that's just because that's how swollen it was. So at week seven, I have noticed that it probably got twice as bigger as it was from the beginning. So if you guys are struggling with that same issue, don't worry. It'll happen. It'll get bigger. It'll look nicer. So... And let me show you guys my scar now first of all I'm not gonna show you guys my scar right here and I wish I could because I want to show you guys how narrow and thin and pretty the line is I'm not gonna show you guys that nobody wants to see that but I will show you guys up to the side so you guys can see what the scar looks like it's so funny my freaking tan lines but look now remember I did get the extended tummy tuck so it does wrap all the way to the back. Now if you guys see right here it looks a little bit like a line up and down and that's because that's where I had my drain. So they removed it and they added the stitches after I had this closed down. So that's the only reason that it looks like that right there but all throughout I do have a nice thin line all the way from one side going down and it kind of goes like a V right here and then it does follow all around right here the line is still pretty bright red I don't think it's gonna um, tame I think it's gonna stay like that for a while until a few months hopefully you know the scar treatment is gonna work I hope it lightens it if it doesn't then I think they do treatments for it but I mean girl I'm not even complaining about it the scar looks really really pretty it's actually very nice and neat I don't know if you guys can see how straight this line is but it's not bumpy it's not zigzaggy um, there is absolutely no new stretch marks now I know my doctor did stretch me the hell out but I have no new stretch marks okay I try to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see what the scar looks like all up close Alrighty, I mean guys, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to it. Very simple, straightforward. This is my seven week update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any other questions, let me know down in the comment section below so I can get back to you and answer as best possible. If you do not follow me on all my social medias, be sure you do. You guys can find me at Alma Rivera Beauty on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Do not leave my channel before subscribing, girl, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!